Hey, this is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks, and these three kayaks are our sort of best three open water sit-in solo kayaks. Now, what do I mean by open water? Uh, well, it means they're suitable for flat water like lakes, bays, uh, mild rivers. They'll all do up to class two rapids, but they also can be taken in open ocean. And part of the reason for that is they've got a cockpit around the combing. It allows you to put a spray skirt on, stay warm, stay dry. If you get swamped by a wave, it, it lets the water kind of run off, not fill the cockpit, if that makes sense. Um, so they're great. Now, how do you choose between the three of them? Well, there's quite a few factors to consider. Probably the first one is weight. Uh, the Advanced Room Expedition Elite is our heaviest. It is 19 kilograms. Then the next one's the Advanced Room at 16, and then the Air Fusion Evo is 14 and a half. Now, you might sit there and think, oh, I can lift 19, no problem, but do you really want to is the question. For some people, that is no drama. They're more than happy to lift that sort of weight. And, and I'm, I'm talking about out of the water. On the water, it's not a problem. It's getting it to and from the water. It's setting it up, that kind of thing. So for a lot of people, that's no issue. For some people, they're like, yeah, no way am I going to lift that. Um, if I get someone who's five foot nothing, 83 years old, uh, all sorts of back problems, I'm not going to sell them this kayak, right? <laughs> so you've got to think about, you know, is this going to work for me? Uh, personally, I I'm pretty small, but I'm reasonably strong. I find this one a bit of a struggle, whereas the advanced frame at 16 kilograms, the difference between 19 and 4 meters long and 16 and 3.2 meters long is quite big for me it's the difference between being able to do it fairly easily and happily and kind of feeling a bit like oh what a drag i can do it i just don't like doing it the evo i find pretty easy 14 and a half kilograms so think about that the biggest difference of course is performance and this is really important so the evo goes fast very fast it's our sleek sort of high performing kayak the advanced room expedition leads the next fastest and then the advanced room comes after that why is the evo so fast well it's four meters long which is the same length as the expedition elite but it's narrower across the beam if we look at the down shot here and compare you can see that this one is a lot fatter for the width than the evo um, that combined with the excellent rigidity you get with the Evo, so the Evo's got actually an internal pole structure in it, as you can see here, that red thing's aluminium that you, you assemble that, means that it really goes. You can um, get some really good vertical paddle strokes, really good torso rotation, and you can go really fast. You can also cruise in it if that's what you want to do, but you can go fast, very fast in this kayak. The Expedition Elite and the Advanced Frame, they're more cruising kayaks, so they still paddle really beautifully. It's, it's a delight to paddle them, and they glide wonderfully in the water, but they're not what I would call sprinting kayaks, if that makes sense. Um, they've basically got more surface area, and they're a bit heavier, so they're a bit slower in the water. So have a think about that. Over sort of a multi-day expedition, um, you're probably not sprinting much anyway, so you've got to kind of ask yourself, well... Am I really bothered? Because there's some other advantages that the advanced frames have when we look at the longer trips. Um, but if you're the sort of personality who's quite adventurous, quite athletic, you like to challenge yourself, you want to get a good workout, the Evo is excellent. So what's the, the flip side of that narrowness? Well, what you've got to remember is if you've got a quite a narrow kayak across the beam, it's less stable than one that's fat across the beam, okay? And, and it's... It's not an unstable kayak, I would never say that, but the difference between these two and this one is significant. The Expedition Elite and the Advanced Frame, like you could have a sleep in these. I don't recommend you do that, but that's the kind of stability we're talking about. They are ludicrously stable. The Evo, it requires a bit of concentration getting in and out, and you would never take a dog, um, a small child, or go fishing from it. Whereas you can, in fact, do all three from these. If the dog is quite big, though, you've got to unzip um, the deck here. Same on the Expedition Elite, basically to give them some space because these are snug, what I would call snuggish cockpits with a big dog. Small dog doesn't matter. They can, a small dog can actually go on top of the deck there, and they do quite like doing that. But you can unzip. Um, you would be a bit careful with the floor on the advanced frame. You'd buy a product we sell called the Dura Floor as a protective mat, or the Drop Stitch Floor as an enhancer. That's the drop stitch floor. Costs a lot more than the Dura floor, 349 versus 79. The Dura floor is just a mat though to protect the floor, good for fishing and dogs. Whereas the drop stitch floor is a performance enhancer. It'll give you added rigidity in the kayak. Fantastic if you are heavier. 
So someone who's 50 kilograms, they don't need a uh, performance enhancer. Someone who's 100 kilograms, they do. In between those, it really depends on what you want. If you want to go quite fast in the advanced frame and you're only 75 kilograms, then the drop stitch floor is still an option for you. It's, it's a good option. And it's tough as nails, that drop stitch floor. So if you've got a dog or you're going fishing, then you don't need to get the Adura floor as well. It's one or the other, if that makes sense. It doesn't add to the weight because you actually put the drop stitch floor into the kayak instead of the soft floor floor that it comes with um, whereas the Dura floor it would add weight because it goes on top of the floor but it weighs practically nothing it's like a couple hundred grams or something it's just high density foam basically so if you if you're going down that path then that that is an option for these two but the Fusion Evo simply is not stable enough for dogs kids fishing now speaking of floors we need to talk about comfort as the next factor in my opinion, the Advanced Stream is one of the comfortable kayaks, not just that I sell, but that ever existed. It's got in it a couple of features. It's got this beautiful high back contoured seat with straps here that you clip into the inner tube so you can put your whole weight on it. It's very supportive. It's It'll take your whole weight and it's high backed so you can really relax. And then under your bum is this soft floor. This is like a lilo or an airbed. It's low pressure. It doesn't give the kayak rigidity. It's purely there as a cushion for your bum. So the combination of those two feels like you're sitting in a lounge chair while you paddle. And that's lovely on any length of trip, but it becomes especially lovely if you're going out for quite a long trip, a full day or a multi-day expedition. It's wonderful to not get a numb bum or a sore back. The Expedition Elite's probably the second most comfortable. It's got that beautiful high back seat and it's got an inflatable lumbar cushion in it, even better. So you can blow up a bit of extra lumbar support if you need it, but it actually comes with a drop stitch floor as standard. So this thing we were talking about here, that is, that is standard in this kayak. It does not come with a soft floor. It only comes with a drop stitch floor. That's one of the reasons it costs a bit more. That and because it's longer than the advanced room, it has more material in it. But what that drop stitch floor means is it's slightly harder under your bum. It's not rock hard because it's say, it's between four and six PSI. It's still got some give to it but it's not as soft as that wonderful soft floor that you get in the advanced frame. And it's a very stable kayak and that stability, these two are stable, the stability actually affects your comfort because you can sit back and relax if that, a bit more than you can in the Evo. The Evo has a very supportive seat, but it's lower backed only. It's not a high back seat. So you've got slightly less support there. What you're sitting on is a drop stitch inflatable um, seat bum bum pad we'll call it a bum pad so you see there that's the valve so you can make that um, quite firm if you want to sit higher in the kayak but it'll be harder what i tend to do is i inflate it to quite low pressure like one and a half psi so that it's got give and therefore cushions my whole bum which reduces the pressure on any one point and i get because i get numbness down my leg if i sit on a hard surface so that's what i tend to do so you've got a couple of options there now, in terms of foot support, the, which, which factors into comfort because it affects your back and your paddling technique, the Evo comes with a foot brace. It's, it's the front thwart. You actually adjust where the front front thwart, it's a bit of a tongue twister, um, goes to give you that support. The Expedition Elite comes with an adjustable foot ba uh, brace. It's got rungs that you can set the length. The Advanced Room does not come with a foot brace, but we sell a foot brace for it down here in foot and back support. It's this one here, the inflatable foot brace. The foot pegs, you technically can put them in the Advanced Room, but realistically they're too, sh they're too sh um, short, if that makes sense. Uh, the, the kayak inside is too short for that to be effective. For most people, the foot brace is the best option. And just a note, if you liked the sound of the inflatable lumbar cushion seat that comes with the Expedition Elite, but you want to get the Advanced Frame, you can actually buy that, here it is, as an accessory. Um, so if you buy the foot brace, if you buy the lumbar seat, and if you buy the drop stitch floor, you can effectively pimp out your Advanced Frame to be like the Expedition Elite, but only 16 kilograms. <laughs> Um, so we've got some options there. Now, we've talked about weight, we've talked about performance, we've talked about comfort. Durability is the same across all three. It's excellent. You do not need to worry about durability with these kayaks. They are tough as nails. Um, we never get issues with punctures with, with clients or customers. What we do get occasionally is when people leave them in the sun, out of the water, or in exposed to any sort of heat, even if it's inside, out of the water. The water's keeping the air in the chambers cool and regulated. 
If you're taking the kayak out of the water and you're not packing up straight away, you need to let some pressure out of the chambers so that because heat makes air pressure increase basically in the chamber, um, and they'll overpressurize and you get a bit of seam damage. It's not the end of the world. We can replace the inner tube, but the best thing is if you're coming out of the water, just let some pressure out. It's really easy to top it up again. So durability is excellent. Setup. This is a big deal. Advanced range five minutes. Six minutes if you throw on a drop stitch floor. Expedition Elite's about eight minutes, but still pretty straightforward. It's just got a bit more air in it and a couple of bits and pieces. The Evo is a good 15 minutes. Um, I've done it in 13, but I'm fast and I've had a lot of practice. Advanced Elements reckon they can do it in 10, but they're breaking a sweat. Um, so most customers realistically need to plan sort of 15, anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes, depending on your personality and and also your practice, your level of practice. Uh, it has an internal frame structure, which is this red part here, and you can watch the inflation video. In fact, I very strongly suggest anyone that's thinking about buying this watches this video first, just so you know what you're in for. It is not complicated, okay? It is not a difficult process. Uh, it's just more steps than the others. The others are simple. The others are inflate, clip in your seat. Okay, really simple stuff. This one simply has more steps and more chambers to it. That's all it is. Really, really worth it if you're going for like a longer trip. Um, and in terms of performance, if you want that performance, really worth it. I just like to mention it because sometimes people only want to go out for an hour at a time. Well, if you've got to spend 20 minutes setting it up to go out for an hour, um, that might not be a good idea. But I also like to mention it because of personality. Some, sometimes people know themselves and they know they don't want something that's got to be set up. Okay, so that's always something to consider. Um, we need to talk about water type and capacity. So they all do up to class two rapids, but they are essentially not white water kayaks. They're flat water kayaks. They're great for open water as well. In terms of capacity, this one's fairly low. The Air Fusion Evo is something like 103 kilograms. So that really depends on your weight as to whether that's going to be enough if you're thinking of expeditions. The Expedition Elite something like 200 plus kilograms. The Advanced Frame is 136 kilograms. If you put a drop stitch floor though in the Advanced Frame, it goes up quite significantly that um, that capacity. They don't give me a number, but it, trust me, it, it gets it gets better. It gets some more capacity. Now, all of this depends on your weight and how much gear you need to take, obviously, as to whether that's enough. In terms of deck space, the Evo probably actually has the least deck space because it's narrower. So if you look at this, you, you've got this front spot, you've got the D-rings here at the back to load up and you've got a rear hatch back here. You don't really have any space behind the seat. There's a thwart in there and you don't really have any space past your feet, but you can obviously put things around your legs. Uh, but because it's narrow, it's not a massive amount of space. The Expedition Elite's the other end of the spectrum. You've got a wide kayak and you've got a large deck. You've got space back here and you could theoretically load up over the hatch, but most people prefer to keep that hatch free and then put things inside. So this is actually uh, inside. You can get stuff all the way back to here, which is where the inner tube goes. And same up front, you've got quite a bit of room around your legs. Then the Advanced Frame has the width. Um, of the Expedition Elite and it doesn't have any hatches so you can actually get quite a bit onto the advanced frame front and rear because it's all deck space if that makes sense. I've got a great picture here of this one being loaded up. Now a lot of people are like oh I'm not doing any multi-day expeditions but I like to mention it as something to think about in the future because a lot of my customers become quite adventurous when they get their confidence so even people that don't say expedition on the form i'm like you know you can do that with these later basically <laughs> same with the open water thing you know you you might say oh, i'm not going in open water but you'd be amazed at what some of my customers end up doing okay so that's the that's the the sum of um, the summary of these three wonderful kayaks from advanced elements all great kayaks it really comes down to you um and pros and cons. Oh, height. I forgot to mention how tall you are. Uh, average height is totally fine in all of them. They're, they're good up to about 6'2". The guys at Advanced Elements that design these are all about 6'2", 6'3". So Advanced Frame is okay up to about that. I say about that because obviously it depends whether you wear your height in your legs or not. And it depends how you sit in the kayak. I actually sit cross-legged. I have really tight hamstrings. So my knees are way bent. So the length doesn't really matter. 
Same with the Evo, similar sort of size, up to about 6'2". 6'3 would be pushing it. The Expedition Elite is much longer inside, so that's the one I tend to sell to people who are 6'3 and above. And if you want to be, even if you're like 6'1", 6'2", but you really want to be comfortable, the Expedition Elite is a good choice. I will leave it at that. Um, I hope this helps. This is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks. Mm-hmm.